everyone, Lau here and welcome to a new video in the new year. <laughs> so it's probably the first video of 2020, like except for the um, like plans for 2020, so the normal, a normal video. And uh, you can see wearing my Disney Mickey ears, so it's going to be kind of a Disney themed video. Um, and it was actually already planned for like Vlogmas. Um, I wanted to show you how I um, create or how I um, decorate one of my Ida bags, which is this one. And um, But I had so many other ideas during that time, so I just kept it for now. Um, but I really want to decorate it, because now I have all the stuff together which I want to put inside. And the theme of this Ida bag will be Figment. Um, now I just want to start uh, with explaining who Figment is or what it means, why. Uh, um, Figment is you could nowadays could uh, actually call them like the mascot of Epcot. Epcot is one of the four uh, Walt Disney World parks. Um, and he comes from one of the um, original attractions, um, which was called like Journey into Your Imagination or the newer incarnation is called A Journey into Your Imagination with Figment. There were some struggles. The, new, the newer version is not as good as the old one was. Um, so it's actually, um, you could explain that um, Epcot is like two different part, like two, it has two different parts or head because now it's in a very large like overhaul project, but it has like the world showcase with a lot of like the, the um, country pavilions from all over the world, things like that. And we had Future World and in Future World there were different pavilions and rides um, for like themes like land or the seas or like energy and one of them was um, the imagination pavilion or is it is still there it's also it will be still there after the um, overhaul project which makes me really happy that they don't get rid of figment or get rid of uh, journey into imagination um, and you might think that why is that like what has it to do with like future when we have like themes like energy or the land or whatsoever it was it actually is like an essential theme which, which I think what was and still is because imagination, creativity, dreams, all of that is so important to like especially the, the Disney company, you know, without anything from that nothing would exist. Like no Disney parks, no Disney movies, so this is like essential to them and it's also, or also something which is very important to me because I'm a creative person, I love like creativity and like imagine things so this is like why it's also speaking to me like from the theme and in the ride there was actually like someone called the dream finder which is a lovely old man and with his dragon pigment i just show you like a simple picture of um, the dream finder and pigment one of the original um like artwork from back then and um like he was searching like the the universe for colors and and sparks of imagination everything like sounds and that everything that sparks your imagination and um, there's also this great song and I just wanna slowly uh, wanna read to you the the lyrics not the whole but just the beginning it's like one little spark of imagination is at the heart of all creation right at the start of everything that's new. One little spark lights up for you. So this is like the main theme that there is like there are little sparks of imagination and they become something big. They become something that like people can create. And that's why also um, with this little dragon figment, often like the light bulb is something that's like pictured with him, like as this spark. And, and he, like the dream finder, this lovely fellow, this lovely old man and um, creates this dragon out of his imagination. That's where he comes from, like he describes him as um, two tiny wings, big eyes and yellow, horns of a steer, what a lovely fellow. Um, from head to tail he's royal purple pigment and there voila you've got a figment. So oops, I wanted to show you like one of my favorite figment pins. So there you can see I just fell in love um, before I was like in Walt Disney World because as I said the ride itself is not very special nowadays but already when I saw Figment before and uh, heard about what it means like he's cute and I really love what it what what he um, <laughs> that 
took a long time. Um, what it, what he actually what all this imagination thing means, and um, that's why I wanted to start like a figment pin collection, and I use my Disney pins to put in those Eda bags so I can show them off. Um, this Eda bag I got at a normal like German convention, and I already knew I wanted to get this because it is like. It is around since a long time with this one, but Figment is also because of all these colors and imagination and that's um, why he's also depicted often with like rainbows, rainbow colors because that's in the ride a lot and um, that's why I'm also wearing some of my rainbow ears and like a rainbow sweater today <laughs> um, and that's why I uh, picked out this Ida bag where I want to put in my pins. So, here is the window. It's actually the same size Ida bag that I have like already um, shown you in my first Ida bag video with the Star Wars pins um, that I showed you, which has like a heart uh, shaped uh, window. This one has a star shaped window, which I think is even better for figment. Um, yeah, and um, I thought about like whether I share like all those pins like in the end when I finally did it but I think I will share like my um, figment pin collection like one pin after the other um, like in the beginning so it will take some time if you if you're not interested in every single pin then maybe just skip this part to minute da -da -da, I will probably show that to you um, um, and then you can just see how I put it together and you see the overall result but as I really like all of my pins and it's not so many because you can just put a small number here in so I have, do not have like a huge collection. The first pin is um, the pin that I already showed you. I got it myself when I was at Epcot. It shows figment um, in front of a very glittery background. That's why I love it so much. It says like let your imagination soar so it is like uh, shows like the imagination like it doesn't show the pavilion, but and it also says that, uh, because of the soar, it also stands for soaring around the world. So two Epcot attractions and Spaceship Earth at the back. It also says Epcot. That's my favorite pin. It's very thick, and I know that is. Um, yeah, I bought it myself when I was there, so that's like my favorite one. Uh, then I have like four. I'd show them you like right now. Four limited edition pins of Figment. Um, I think this one's the oldest. Uh, it's from 2003 and I have no real like other information about this pin other than it is Figment sitting on a rocking horse made out of clouds. He's trying to catch a star with a lasso um, and the star is like a separate pin. Really love that but I have no idea like it's a um, limited edition of 1500 I think. Um, yeah. Uh, the second oldest is this one from 2008. Um, it shows Figment with a like paint tube painting his name. So Figment is also, as I already like said, often like together with pigment. It, it rhymes and it also like colors and everything like Festival of the Arts. That's where like Figment is also often um, uh, shown. And um, yeah, I just know that it's a gold card collection pin, limited edition also of 1,500. But I have no idea what gold card edition pins were back in the day just probably they were sold on this gold back card <laughs> um, really cute it is also a pin on pin element you can see that um, here it's like two pins like this part on top of the other one so it's like two pins on one um, uh, so third oldest pin is this one from 2011 when World Disney World um, celebrated the 40th anniversary. Um, it shows like Figment. Um, there, I think it was a collection of like probably four or five different pins for each park. And Figment stands for Epcot. Epcot from 1982 to uh, 2011. There, but it was a 40th, 40 year of 40th anniversary of like the whole World Disney World thing. It was a pass holder exclusive pin, so only if you, you've been a Walt Disney World pass holder, which I'm not, and then you can, could get that pin. It's a limited edition of 3000. And I just got, uh, got it as all of the other pins on eBay from a German um, seller that was probably a pass holder back then. Uh, this one's from 2016. It's uh, 
it's from the Walt Disney World Magical Montage set which was I think um, a monthly pin release back in 2016. Uh, it is a hinge pin, shows Figment with his light um, ball filled up with glitter, so that's the spark of imagination, you know, and you can open it up and it reveals the Dream Finder. So it's uh, my only pin with a Dream Finder on, I really love that. So these are my four limited edition pins of Figment. And um, then I have this one, which came out for the uh, 35th anniversary of um, Walt Disney World in a booster pack of, I think, eight different pins. And this one was Figment celebrating. Really love that. Pretty colors and also very uh, thick and sturdy pin. Also quite big. Um, then here, this one, you know that one. It's from the... Um, from the World Disney World uh, Attractions Mystery Pouch, which I put in my advent calendar. So this one came out from one of my like advent calendar um, uh, doors. And now let's come to some um, like, I don't want to say minor, but, but these are like simpler pins. Um, those two are from the same set. They both show figment like above or underneath a rainbow. And they are back from, I think, 2000, let's just check, 2006, uh, when, back when those um, pins were not called Hidden Mickeys, because you can spot here, like, those little uh, Hidden Mickeys, but they are they were still called Cast Member Lanyard pins. Back then, you could only get them when you traded for a, a random pin in the parks with a, um, with a Disney cast member from the Lanyards or from the... Um, pin boards there in the parks. Um, nowadays these are some of like like these sets were uh, are still um, there but they are called um, Hidden Mickeys. Like every like I don't know half a year or what they release new Hidden Mickeys. And um, nowadays you can also buy them in uh, mystery pouches but these uh, were just like available when you traded in the parks. But I think these are could be uh, fakes because like from these older Hidden Mickey or Cast Member Lanyard sets there are a lot of fakes around from factories in China reproducing them and although I think they look very nice I've heard that when this part is a little bit less shiny than the rest could be a fake and this one I also think it has just this one ran random nub here so it's probably also fake, but I got it for very, very, very cheap on eBay. Um, but not from a factory in China, but just um, from a private seller. Uh, so I'm absolutely fine with these. I love them because they show the rainbow. Um, two other um, hidden Mickey or Cosmo Millenniard pins back from 2005, I think, and six uh, were these. These show the um, um, parking signs of Epcot. So new J row J with park, parking lot one to six whatever. Um, I, I don't think they look like this anymore, but back in the day they used to look like this. And we have J for journey with figment here and D for discover. Um, probably both also. I mean both you can see here the hidden Mickey's so still cast my millenniard or hidden Mickey's. Both of them could be fakes as well, especially this one because I think the edges are really rough here but um, still like it. And for example, this one I found at a convention. Um, could also be uh, the real deal, so no idea about these. Uh, the last one I also got at a convention. It's the tiniest of all of them. It is a set which came out for the 10th, um, uh, like, let's say anniversary of pin trading in, um, in the parks. That's why these came out all with uh, the number 10. This one is uh, in different like languages. So this one shows Figment as if he would be someone from Germany. I mean, more like from Bavaria. He's got a Bavarian hat and lederhosen. And uh, the name uh, of the word is written in German. Zehn is like it's 10 in German. There were other pins like, for example, I don't know, Pluto in for, for, for France with a French depiction and it says D, like 
DYX or something. And you could only get them when you paid in a certain amount for merchandise in the shops. And then you could buy one additional dollar and you get, got one of these pins in a mystery pouch. So 10 years, so that must be from 2009, 10 year anniversary. Now we've got already, ooh. So it, it, it's 10 years old this pin, but uh, now we've got like 20 years of pin trading already. These are the pins which will go inside and then I have also two stickers. These two stickers, uh, which I got from a, um, uh, which I got from Etsy. <laughs> um, and I wrote down the name or I just printed it out. It's from J Feldman Art. Um, I don't know if they are still available. Um, when I got them, I think I got one of the last ones, but I mean, they're just, so maybe you, they can print them. Um, yeah. And I'm always putting the pins not directly on like this thin fabric inside here. So I always have something a little bit like a um, board which I put inside and I most often use uh, just a like a foam, a thin foam, rubber foam. Most gummy I call it in German. This one's a glittery one. And purple, which matches pigment, of course. And let's see how I can show you um, where I, like how I put them here. Da, 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 da. Um, I always try it out at first. And um, just take a photo on my mobile phone, like this that I know how and where I want to actually put them. And when you've got one of these like special shapes, like this star, uh, you definitely need to make sure to have some marks on here. I don't know if you can see that there and there. Here I made like points. And uh, so I have the star shape very briefly on here. So very, very that I can just no, just barely notice it because you don't want to see it afterwards. But so I know like where I can, where are the barriers, where I can put them. Let's uh, do that now.
So, hi, I'm back. Um, it's finished. You saw how I uh, put all the pins in, how I put the uh, like the foam in the bag, and how I like just stuffed it <laughs> with a pillow. Um, and here it is. Uh, and the camera, uh, it looks very dark, like the the actual bag, but um, it is like rainbowy, and now inside purple glittery. Um, let's just turn that off here and with all those figment um, pins. I think I did a good job with like directly um, having all the pins still inside the window. Sometimes I need to rearrange it because some of them then just stick out. Here I would have had a little bit more space on this side. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it right now. I know that there's still some like space so when I get some more pins, I can still put them in. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty much happy with it that I finally was now able to do um, the backpack to finish it. So I'm not able to wear it out, especially with this combination. <laughs> and it would look very good. Um, yeah, I think it was more of a... Uh, showing off my pigment pin collection video then <clears throat> then really of a how I decorate the Eater bag because the decoration like the part is not very long or anything um, but the rest like where I explained everything and seriously let me tell you I don't know how much I like how often I recorded or, or filmed now some of the parts because I filmed them first and then I got interrupted and then I needed to start again uh, let's see how I edit this video and how it turns out <laughs> I think it was like the worst uh, like filming uh, process that I've ever had, but <laughs> anyways, I hope uh, the end of the video is okay now. Uh, so then, I hope you enjoyed, um, may the force be with you and see you real soon, bye!